Welcome back to the Big Water Unnamed Cooking Show with Captain Joe. I still think it should be you catch, I clean and cook. But that's okay. But you didn't even clean the last ones. Well, yeah, a little bit, but go ahead. I'm good. What are we doing today? We are going to do a Parmesan crusted pan fried walleye with a sweet pickle relish with mayonnaise, a little brown mustard, little garlic, little uh, salt and pepper. You know, I, I really like the walleye cakes and then some of the other stuff. I, I didn't know what you were doing. I, I'm liking the sounds of this one. We might even add a little bit of Parmesan cheese in with the mayo. Oh, my. We're going to have it on the fish, and we might put a little bit on the, on the, in, the, uh, in the mayo, too. Well, let's not mess around. Let's get to it. What are we doing again today? Okay. We're starting with a zippered fish, clean fish. Which we have a video. If you want to know how to clean fish up, zip That's them, right. do them different, check see, those out. See how nice and white and clean they are? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um... So what we're going to do, instead of having uh, doing it in a whole piece like this, okay. okay, we want them to cook and have and have uh, crust all the way around it instead of just topping these two sides. Okay. So we're going to cut them a little bit thinner. We're going to cut them like this. I mean, and that's really a theme with most of your stuff. Is yeah, yeah. Don't so, have a giant piece of meat. Yeah, and we're going to cut them on a little bit of an angle like this. Is that just for looks? Yeah. It, well, and they, and they, and they it, it has more cooking surface instead of cutting straight down. It's a little bit longer. Proper terminology is on the bias. Oh, that's like the angle of the dangle when you troll them. Yeah, so you you learned on the bias, poaching. I'm poaching on the bias. What else did you learn today or last week? Most of the things I can't say in front of everybody. Compound butters. Oh yeah, well that we can. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna prep these here like this. We've got some nice pieces of fish. This one's a little thinner, so it's not gonna have to not to have to be cooked too much. Okay. Okay. We're just prepping these right here. We're gonna put a pan on back behind me okay with some oil in it okay we got and we're using olive oil again olive oil. If you haven't watched some of the other stuff you're a fan of olive oil yes sir and i even learned from you that you're like olive oil for some people get a little little runs from using other things but then other people say that the oil burns yeah. sooner is that what you were yeah. saying and for these since these are the beauty about this is you can use, you can pan fry these. I'm going to put a little bit more oil in here than I do with some other dishes because we're going to, it's going to it. kind of be a pan fried, deep fry type thing. You could actually do these in a deep fryer if you want. I, I can control them better and watch them better in a, in a pan. So, you know, we don't, you don't want to, you don't want to burn the cheese. So this you got to really watch This is more high them. maintenance than when you're poaching and other things like that. Yeah, just a little bit. But remember, you can deep fry them too. After we dredge and do what we do, you throw them right in the deep fryer. Okay. okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to start out with our fish. We're going to go into seasoned flour. And when you say seasoned, are you buying it like eh, that? Or no, you, you just, you know, just add a little salt and pepper to it. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put the glove on because uh, once I go in the egg and then in the cheese, it can get a little bit messy. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this bowl and start our our our, uh, our our mayonnaise or our, our dressing type thing because we want it to be ready by the time the fish come out okay, okay. so in a bowl nice bowl oh. we're going to start with what if you don't know why you have to use hellman's and not miracle whip please go back to the wall <laughs> cakes video <laughs> we're going to put about a cup of mayo in here hellman's mayo Okay. I mean, you, I mean this, 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 it still gets me, but. I don't know what, why I feel so strong about Hellman's. I mean, I, that's the only mayo I really eat. I mean, like I don't eat kind Kroger. It's weird that you take a hard stand on the mayo. Well, you know, you eat different mayos. I, you know, it probably all comes from the same place anyway, but um, I just have strong feelings about Hellman's mayo. I don't know what it is. Do you have, what else do you have strong feelings about? Um. I don't know if I want to say those on on the camera because of I have strong feelings for you, but I don't know what those feelings are. So, so we're gonna go with a cup Things of mayo. Things just got awkward. We're gonna, Things just got awkward. That, I mean, it's that's, we're gonna start with a cup of mayo. I, I mean, if this tastes as good as some of the other stuff, I may give you a, a minor man hug. Okay. Or, what? Or a. Mm, let's not get crazy. Okay. All right. Let's not get crazy. We're gonna put a little parsley in there. We are going to put probably about... Relish is that? This is sweet pickle relish. Sweet pickled relish. Okay, How'd you I like could, that little flip? That was pretty, that's fancy. You're doing it with style. Probably two or three nice heaping 
tablespoons of it. Okay. We're going to add about a tablespoon brown spicy of, mustard. Uh, Is that it? Brown spicy mustard. You can use you can use yellow mustard if you want. You can use about whatever you want. Okay. So we got relish, parsley, brown okay. mustard, little lemon juice. Have you ever done that with onion? You know I'm an onion fan. Yeah, you can you could add a little onion to that, you know. You want to try that? We're going to put a little onion in there. Okay. We're going to put a little parmesan cheese in there. Oh yeah. Then, if you have some on hand, it's not it's not the end of the world so, if you don't. Well, what, yeah, I'm not a big vinegar fan. Just what little, was that? Just detail? a little little splash gives it a little acid, a little acidity along with the lemon. Gives it a little ass, is that what you're saying? A little acid. Okay. You may like that little touch. I may. Okay. I'm going to have to now. Now, you see how easy that was. I think if we had it written down for you, you may be able to do it. I'm going to watch the video again. <laughs> Look at that. A little bit of mustard in there. Then, don't forget, as we always do, we're going to season it. A little salt, a little pepper. A little cracked black pepper. You know, if we had more budget, we could do some salt and pepper. A little music, you know what I mean? Yeah. But we don't. Yeah. So. What's that station we listen to? Well, Hip Hop Nation? Yeah. <laughs> Shade 45? Shade 45. <laughs> okay. Yes! <laughs> okay. All right. So we'll just set this aside. All right? We'll set that over here. Okay, now. We got some fish in the flour. We got some oil in our skillet. We're gonna start medium to high. And medium you put to extra high. oil in that skillet. I put time. a little extra extra oil in there because it's gonna be more of a um, I don't want to call it deep fried, but and that's just regular egg yolk. Just it, all it is is an egg with some with some heavy cream in it. Okay, just a little bit of heavy cream. Yep, a little bit of dash of heavy cream. Yeah, I really like this dish, um, and it's easy to do. I mean, no, no big deal. A little egg wash, a little flour, a little Parmesan cheese. What kind of flour did I use? Seasoned. Man. This seasons everything. I, I, I'm a listener. I mean, unlike you in the Man. boat, you know, I'm listening here. We're salt and pepper. We're compounding stuff. Yeah, yeah, we're doing, we're doing we're all that stuff. stuff. Fun stuff. See, now you see why I wore a rubber glove. I mean, most of this, it looks like a controlled freaking dumpster fire, but I mean, that helped a little bit. <laughs> Which I don't know if dumpster fire is a good word for you eat something, but. Yeah. You know but see, I mean. you use good parm. It doesn't burn. It tastes very well. Okay. Now I'm going to clean up my area here just a little bit while that oil's getting good and go. Okay, then we take. You take this and just test the waters. It's real close. It's, I mean, it's real close. Like with three L's on it, real? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. At least. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna go in the oil, right? You ready for this? Let's do it. And like I said, we have enough. We have enough oil in there. It's not doing a deep fry. It's doing a light, a light fry, you know. But it's it's up there not enough that it's not it's not browning. It's frying more than browning. The other thing is you don't really want to overload your skillet because if you overload your skillet, it's it's gonna it's gonna tend to steam them more than to, than to fry them. So you know, just leave a little space in between them there. Well, those are cooking. We'll get our little plate here ready that we're going to put these on. I mean, you could, you know, you can put them on an individual plate if whoever's there or whatever. We're just going to do this to show them. And, uh, yeah. See, and you can, you can check these with a fork. So as the, as the edges, you can tell, too, if you look at the edges, when the edges start to brown, that means they're getting close to needing flipped. See that beautiful cheesy crust? I'm almost thinking about opening the front door so the fire alarm don't go on. Look at that. 
I mean, this is this is really simple stuff, guys and girls. You know, and those stove and those stoves are still cooked cook, cook the same way. So you know, one might get a little darker than here. So you move that one around a little bit. You want them to all come out about the same. So. See, and, and you know if you know, and I've used other cheese before, and that that you know nothing against Kraft Parmesan cheese, but if we were if we were to be using Kraft Parmesan cheese right now, and if the people that were out there going to try this recipe would go and buy the green can Kraft Parmesan cheese, it would it would be, it would be burnt by now, and they would never do this again. So, so we're just going to pop these out of here, okay? We're pretty much done. Man, they look like big chicken nuggets. They look like chicken nuggets. That's what they look like. Maybe we just call this walleye nuggets. We could do that. Parmesan walleye nuggets. Now, do you want honey mustard with that? You want barbecue with that? What do you I'm want? I'm thinking this beautiful sauce you done think, created there. I think that's going to be good stuff. Okay. All right, so you've got these things done. You've, you've dried them off. That's kind of the theme you like to do. You don't want to eat the grease. Sure. Yeah, So not good for you. What are we doing next? Okay, we're just going to plate them up. Like, if, you know, if you're at home, whatever, we're just this doing This is when you start getting fancier. Than well, you. I know, but well, this is just for presentation purposes. You know, I, I, I need to just get a little bit of something out of this and make it so I feel good about it. Remember, you eat Could you with clean your, your truck if you like presentation? Oh, I, that's work, son. This is fun. Oh. I, I ain't doing that. I mean... You Anybody serious? that's followed my social media stuff have seen your you, truck. They didn't know you it took, was your truck. You took pictures of my truck and put it on, on social media. People asked me if there was someone living in it. Stop it. Not, those, are the, those are the people's questions, and not mine. Okay. All right, so there, so there we have it. And then we're going to take our, our sauce. And in here is... Relish, mayonnaise, brown mustard, little lemon, little parmesan, salt and black pepper. And uh, what did I make you add? Onion. Onions a little bit. Okay, and then we're just gonna go like this. No, we don't want to put it all on the all on the fish because somebody might not like it all. Yeah, on the I like light sauce. I want to taste that yeah. fish. I want to taste that parmesan crust. I'll tell you what I did learn. Okay. Is you know, there is just like anything else in fishing lures or boats, yeah. there's different qualities and there's different types and you want real Parmesan cheese. Yeah, use the good stuff, man. That's, that's what you want to eat. There you go. That's the uh, that's the recipe this week. So now we're going to try it. Oh, boy. Here's to you. Quite a hot. It is hot. It's hot, but it's real good. It is real good. What? Mm. Okay. <laughs> Mo. I mean, that fish is so flaky and just good. You know, I'm not into cooking. Mm -hmm. This makes me want to be a little more, but I'll be honest, this is so easy to do. Anybody can do it. It's easy to do. And, you know, you write these down or they're, they're going to be on your site and they can, they can refer back to them, check them out. I'll say, I want to do that one this week. Try that. I actually look forward to the next episode. It sounds good. Sounds good to me. Enjoyed it. Mm. Well, I know. Good stuff. Thanks, folks.